What's good, Cam Focus? Your boy Dom. What we got here today is the Cohiba Weller. Let's see if it's worth the price tag of $30 or not. Y'all stay tuned. What's good, Kempo? It's your boy Dom, and I'm back, y'all. And guess what? We got another one of those, uh, let's say, non budget sticks, and this is by Cohiba. I picked this up out when I was out of town at our local cigar lounge, uh, and I haven't been able to see these. I haven't been able to find these 2023 Weller uh, Cohibas. So they had them. I picked up two. Haven't smoked it yet. Uh, today will be the first day, but. You know, the thing about these $30 cigars, you're thinking luxury, you're thinking you're getting ready to get something pretty good. Um, and sometimes they are, and sometimes get let down a lot. So I'm here to hopefully give you guys a uh, honest review on what I feel about this Cohiba Weller uh, today. And pretty interesting facts about this uh, cigar being the third edition of this stick. Uh, I believe the, fir the first edition of the Cohiba Weller was basically to have a cigar uh, that was blended well uh, for the Weller uh, bourbon brand. So, however they blended the cigars, it was supposed to pair well with the, with the bourbon or whatnot. In second edition, uh, they added some, I believe it was the binder uh, that was aged in the Weller uh, bourbon cask. So the third edition, I believe it's the same thing, but a uh, little information about the, the binder and the fillers. So this cigar showcases a Brazilian Matafina binder which is gonna be really cool in the cigar because I really love, oh, excuse me, not a binder, filler. The filler is uh, Brazilian Maltafina. Look at my notes here. So the binder is uh, Connecticut Broadleaf and that's aged in the well of bourbon barrels. Uh, the wrapper uh, features tobaccos from the Jalapa and Esteli regions of Nicaragua. And this is the 6x50 Toro. And again, you can find these for about $20 to $30 uh, if you can get your hands on them. So this is a 2023 release. So probably gonna be a rare find uh, for you now. So what we're looking for in this cigar, uh, I did a little research and what, they, what it said was that it'll give you a savory notes of earth, wood, black pepper. Again, being that uh, taste is subjective, I'm gonna hold up to my own taste buds on this one and let you know what I think. So let's give it a cut, give it a cold draw and see what we think about the cigar. So today, I'm drinking a little bit of water today, I'm not drinking anything uh, fancy. I could have gone out and got some Weller bourbon, but I decided not to. Just wanted to give this cigar a fair chance to stand alone by itself and see if I can pick up some of those nuances. So yeah, heavy, heavy on the toasted, uh, the barrel notes, um, I, I can taste that. So if you're drinking a bourbon uh, and you were getting some of those, those oaky, those toasted oaky notes in there, you, you can pick that up in this cigar right away, which is a good thing. Now say it's your standard, your standard earth notes, your standard uh, semi-chocolate notes. Uh, this is a, a Maduro uh, in color cigar, so I would expect that anyway. And post a picture up real quick, you can see that the got the little flavor pockets on there that I like to see when you have some of these uh, cigars like this. And when you light the cigar, when those, when you start puffing on it, when those cigar uh, pockets start to explode, it releases those tobacco oils in the cigar that gives you those enhanced flavors. Got this tobacco resins. Sometimes it can come off a little harsh, other times not. But yeah, let's get this quick light real quick and dive right on to it. <laughs> I'm like, I, I laughed real quick because it it's, this one just took me back real quick. So, uh, before I got really heavy in cigars, I used to smoke the Black and Miles or whatnot. And, you know, <laughs> thinking you were doing something big with the Black and Miles. Man, I got a real, like, 
hint of uh, the black mild flavor there. It was that's funny. No hit against black and mild, but I think it's that that you know some of the black mouths have those wood tips on it. So when you when you spoke to black and mild, you get some of that 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 wood tip flavor in your mouth, and that's that's exactly what I'm getting. This sort of reminded me of a black and mild right now. <laughs> but refined, right? It's good. It's really 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 good uh, on that retro. Uh, I'll say medium. Medium to medium full on the the, the, the pepper note, uh, so it's well, I'd say white pepper um, on the on the retro hill, but on the back end you get some of that fresh cracked black pepper. So it can sting on some of you that are, are not used to doing the retro hill. I remember what the retro hill is: is you're bringing some some cigar uh, smoke into your mouth, and then you're pushing a little bit through your nasal passages. Of course, you're not bringing that into your lungs at all; you're just directing it up into the nose. That's going to allow your olfactory plants to pick up on some of the different uh, essences of the uh, the cigar smoke. So Cohiba, third year Cohiba Weller, tasting real good right now. Uh, this is of course the first third. Uh, I'm interested to see how this cigar changes. If it gets better, if it stays standard, if it wows me, because at that price point, I really want to be wild with this cigar right now. I don't want to feel bad about spending $60 on two cigars, okay? So I'm gonna drink this water. I'll smoke it down to the, uh, smoke it down a little bit in the first third. If anything changes, I'll update you. If not, I'll see you in the second third. All right, y'all, before I get too, too deep into this first third, what I forgot to mention was what I thought about uh, the cigar looks and, and basically the, uh, the build of this cigar. And I really like the, um, the way they branded uh, this cigar here. So the banding is really, really elegant. We got the, the gold, the gold lace here uh, with the, of course, with the Weller logo. We got the Cohiba logo there. And there looks like there's some, um, I don't know if it's holographic or something's going on inside the gold lace there. Um, I don't know if it's stamped or something, but it's got some texture feel to it. But it's really, really, really cool looking. I think Cohiba did a very good job uh, with this banding. Uh, of course, when, when you see it with your eyeball, it's gonna have that appeal to it to make you wanna pick it up. And of course, obviously that's what they're doing to make you buy it. Um, and then you got the Weller name on it. If you know anything about Weller, uh, the bourbon, uh, of course that's gonna make you pick it up too. So good marketing uh, via Cohiba and Weller, good job. You know, you got me to pick up too. So <laughs> either way, I got it. But yeah, I like it, I like it. So, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this down and I'll update you if anything changes, all right. All right, y'all, I'm back. Getting down to the bottom of this first third and then the second third of the Cohiba uh, Weller cigar. And look, it's something about that Brazilian Matafina that I just love. And there aren't too many cigars that feature the Brazilian Matafina that I, I don't like. I like them all. And man, this cigar right now, it, 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 it's exceptional. It, it's really, really good. I did have some issues uh, with a little bit of waviness, but it corrected itself uh, just fine. And then right, right as I was showing you guys uh, that picture of uh, what the ash was looking like, showing a little bit of waviness, that's when the ash fell off. And it was pretty, pretty much even, so not bad at all. Uh, good job by me managing the uh, burn and managing that burn line as well. Turned out really, really good so far. So just to update you guys on some of the nuances that I did pick up, the, the black and mild, uh, uh, kind of flavor for me did disappear uh, shortly after like three, four puffs of the cigar, but it was a good, it was a good little reminder of where I came from, but it didn't taste bad at all. It just reminded me of that, but it's got a long finish to it. And that by being long finished is how long does that flavor last on your palate uh, after the smoke is gone. So the, the finish right now, it's, it's a long finish. Uh, did pick up uh, dry fruit, uh, cherry notes, uh, charred oak, uh, a bit of light peak, peat. So the peat, if you don't know what peat is, peat is something that you'll uh, experience in Scotch whiskey. So um, the peat is a naturally occurring product of bogs and marshy areas. Uh, and it is caused by organic matter being collected in the area and then slowly uh, decomposing over hundreds of years. So not heavy peat, but you do get a slight bit of that, that peaty, that peatiness in this cigar, which is uh, pretty fantastic too. So I like a cigar that has 
different levels and it changes and it just doesn't there's there's times where I like a nice consistent cigar where it'll stay mellow or whatever but I like cigars that change and, and alter and go has its ups and change and takes you on a different direction and this cigar so far is doing that and of course it got some cocoa and a light cream in there but yeah I don't have any uh many negatives to say about this cigar right now and honestly wish I bought more than two might have changed that Nice smoke output, and this is not harsh. This is the cigar that I would have in the cigar lounge and I'd keep as a daily smoke for sure. Uh, you wouldn't find me sharing this with friends at all. I'd keep this one to myself, no doubt. And I'm not even pairing it with whiskey or, or, or bourbon or, or anything. Just sitting here drinking some, drinking some water. Ooh, it's a little bit, but it's good. It's making, it's making me drool a little bit so good, y'all. So I'm gonna keep smoking this down the second, third. If anything changes, we'll update you as needed. All right, y'all. Cohiba Weller getting to the final third right now. And let me tell you something. This is probably one of the best non-Cuban Cohibas that I've had in a while. Flavors have really been exceptional throughout the first and second third of this cigar. And then right through the third remains the same. It's just, it's just well balanced. That 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 Connecticut uh, USA broadleaf is, is everything that I want um, in a cigar, right? It's giving me those bold, spicy notes. You're getting the creaminess, that, that binder nut filler, that oak aged in the Weller uh, bourbon cask. Y'all did the damn thing with this Cohiba, and, I, and I'm enjoying it. This one right here, it, it's, it's a box buy if you can get your hands on it. If not, have you a few of these just laying around, aging in your humidor, y'all. Uh, these do come in the tubes, so always make sure that when you get the cigars in the tubes that you take them out of the tube, okay? Or you can get mold problems. Uh, you open up that tube, next thing you know, you got mold on your all on your cigar. And then you, you probably had an age for a while. It's just it's just a waste, and it it'll, it'll hurt your heart, right? So make sure you take it out of those tubes when you get them. Yeah, I haven't even had to purge this cigar at all. Sometimes when you get down to this final third, the flavors can get a little muddied up a little bit, so you have to purge it by you know pushing air out through the cigar to get some of those off flavors out of there. I haven't had to do that at all, y'all. So I'm, I'm really enjoying this cigar. I dig it. It'll, it'll it'll definitely become a staple. Hopefully the 2024 release, if if that does come out this year, hopefully it's just as good. And I will be on the lookout for that, get my hands on that too. So, hey, hopefully y'all don't get to them before I can. <laughs> but enjoying it, enjoying it, enjoying it, enjoying it all the way. I'm gonna finish this off y'all. I'm probably gonna smoke this down to the nub because it really is good. And I'll just sit here and enjoy this cigar with my with my little glass of water here. So, hmm. When you can get your hands on a nice cigar like this, and again, taste is subjective. You might not like it, but I do. These, these are the ones that I try to keep in the humidor. I got sticks in my humidor that are hit and miss, and a lot of them I just like to have around just to smoke, you know, just because I'm just sitting around mowing the grass or doing whatever. But cigars like this, these are the ones you want to take out with you. These are the ones you want to have that's going to be surefire, surefire every time you light it. And I'm hoping if I can get my hands on a box of these, that each one is going to be a nice hit. Mm -mm. Loving that flavor, y'all. I'm going to smoke this down. Y'all know the model. Be kind to one another and be kindred and leaf to the next video. Y'all stay tuned. Please like and subscribe if you, see, if you like what you're seeing. Leave a comment down below, which you like what I can do better. And also your recommendations, if a cigar that you like to see me review, go ahead and jot it down there below and I'll try to get my paws on it. All right, y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.